everyone, it's Marie Fell from the Pilates Physio. This little video is just to recap on the blog post that I wrote this month about what is prolapse and why are the pelvic floor exercises so important. I started going around some playgroup today with my pelvis and talking to ladies um, in the playgroup about pelvic floor um, and I spoke to ladies who just had children and grandparents of people looking after their grandchildren um, and it's really interesting to see what was um, what we've been told um, following birth of children or being pregnant um, in different generations, quite an eye-opener. Um, but I think, I think it's really important that we talk about prolapse, it's not a nice subject to discuss and it's certainly not something that we open up to over the dinner table with our friends but from a professional point of view we have pretty much seen and heard it all before so to us it doesn't really shock us if you've got anything that you think is horrendous and um, please do seek help and support if you need to so I think the funny thing that stood out to me this morning was people um just laugh it off if they've got a problem with their pelvic floor um, and just think it's common and I'll just wear a pad and it's fine um, and I've had children and I expect it but yes it's very common but no it's not normal and please don't just continue to buy loads and loads of pads because the manufacturers who are making the pads will love you but your pelvic floor muscles will just keep getting worse. So um, I think from a women's health physiotherapy point of view I really need to sing the message out that your pelvic floor muscles are so important and we do need to be more aware of them and giving them a lot more attention. And the reason why um, is because if you don't know what a prolapse is I'm just going to show you my little chicken I got this from um, Gusset Grippers lady, Elaine Miller, when I went to watch her in Scotland um, when she was doing the, um, uh, what did they do in Edinburgh, the festival, Edinburgh Festival, oh. and um, she gave it to me as a prop. But anyway, a prolapse, if we just really crude about this, but a prolapse is where your bits hang down or bulge out, and that is prolapse. That classically comes in a lady from their vagina. Um, and there's lots of different types of prolapse. So a prolapse um, will feel to you like um, a bulging, a dragging down, a heaviness, um, and it often feels worse at the end of the day. Um, it normally goes off if you're sat, but if you're standing for long periods of time, it can also make it, and it can also feel worse. And sometimes you can get lower back pain from having a prolapse. So there are different types of prolapses. Going back to the chicken, <laughs> um, if you think of the three passages we've got in our pelvis, so we've got our bladder. We've got the uterus, the vagina in the middle, and then we've got the bowel at the back. Then classically what happens as the pelvic floor weakens is that the vaginal walls, either the bowel can collapse through the back and in, or the bladder passage can collapse through the front and in the vagina, and then they can hang down. Or classically the uterus that sits on top of the vagina can also hang down, and that's called uterus prolapse. So sometimes the bladder one can be called a sister seal, but it's now um, normally commonly known as an anterior prolapse. Um, the bowel um, prolapse was termed a rectocele but is actually now called posterior prolapse um, and the uterus is the apical prolapse when the the top of the uterus can sink down into the vagina and obviously that that to you and me feels like something bulky is hanging down, something there that shouldn't be um, and quite rightly that needs checking out and you need to be seen for that. So if you've got that or symptoms like that, please don't put up with it, go and see somebody about it, whether it's your GP, whether you self-refer to a continence clinic, or whether you try and get seen by a women's health physiotherapist for proper pelvic floor assessment and advice, that would definitely be something I would recommend. Um, so in terms of a prolapse, who gets it? Well, it's classically linked to pregnancy and childbirth, but it is also, um, we see it in ladies who have not had children as well, and the reasons for that can be due to... Um, being overweight or doing really heavy lifting where there's lots of pressure down on the pelvic floor and um, for lots of periods of time so if you're in a job such as looking after people in a nursing home that require a lot of moving and handling or you work in a day nursery and you do lots of lifting up of babies or small children as part of your role then your pelvic floor is getting a lot more pressure put through it during the day so you're also at risk um, of prolapse if you're not working the pelvic floor muscles to help off you know be, be able to manage that pressure um, other things that also commonly um, are related to prolapse, so you can either get it when you're pregnant, you can often get it just after you've delivered a baby, or it may catch up with you in the menopause um, as the oestrogen levels and your hormones start to change. So if you've not had a prolapse when you're pregnant um, or just given birth and you think, yes, I've got away with it, it's as your body gets older and ages and the signs of the menopause, it might catch up with you then. So it is really important that your pelvic floor muscles become part of your day-to-day -day routine and they are practised every day um, for life, I'm afraid, not just for Christmas. 
Um, because we can prevent prolapse and we can prevent incontinence just by working our pelvic floor, which is huge when you think about it. Just from working one muscle, we can stop leakages, stop the embarrassment, stop all the things that come with that, um, and also prevent and reduce the risk of getting a prolapse. So this this video is kind of there as a little bit of a message and a sing out to people to say, you know, prevention is better than cure and pelvic floor exercises take up minutes in your day to do. I think two to three minutes maximum and we should be doing them three times a day. So um, the message about the prolapse um, blog really was just to put it out there what it is, what it feels like, how we can prevent it. So one in three ladies who have had one or more children are at risk of developing a prolapse. But one in nine of those ladies will go on to have surgery for that prolapse. So we can manage prolapse without the need for surgery. And some ladies do nothing and they live with it because it's not bothersome to them in their day-to-day -day life. Other ladies um, take up pelvic floor exercises and do it regularly as their routine. And that, that helps reduce the symptoms massively and they live with it and it doesn't affect them in their day-to-day -day function. Um, other ladies try something called a pessary, which is like a ring, um, which you get inserted up into the vagina and it kind of pushes the walls back up where they should be and keeps everything lifted. Um, but it's a bit of a trial and error with that in terms of measurements and size and sometimes you have to try a few before you find the right one that works for you. So some ladies give up on that before they've found the, uh, the best fit for them. Um, and then obviously the end alternative is surgery and it depends on whether you're still sexually active, whether you're still having children um, and how severe your prolapse is because they grade it in stages one to four um, would, would affect the type of surgery that you have. So a gynecologist would speak to you about that. But um, obviously I don't expect people to bombard me with messages on my Facebook page or anything. But if you do have any messages and you want to privately message me with any questions, please do because um, I can hopefully answer them and if not I will point you in the right direction of where you can get help or more information um, so I hope this has just sang a little message out about pelvic floor exercises to you and just remember the chicken we want to prevent this rather than having to then deal with it when it's arised and um, arisen so get squeezing your pelvic floor um, and if you're not sure how to then um, again please message me there's lots of information out there about how you should be doing your pelvic floor exercises correctly so just make sure that um, you are working them in the right way okay bye for now